Hi, this is how I make this in Figma. I rolling, following the cursors, and without coding. First of all, uh, get into Figma and create frame. Click F and let's use uh, desktop. Maybe MacBook Air, it's okay. Um, since it's cursor, the eye will following the cursor, so it's uh, it's good use on desktop. While for phone, I think it's it's unusable because usually you don't have a cursor on your phone or apps. So we're using the frame uh, for desktop. After this, uh, okay, for, let me create the asset first, the I asset. Go to Oval, click O. Okay, put it in the middle. And then uh, this is the head, let's say this is the head, and then let's make another one for the eyes. Oops, sorry, Oval. I let's make it white and make adding some stroke okay that's good mm -hmm. and this is the eye let's make another one for the iris copy paste control c v okay this will be black no strokes but the color will be let's say black uh, okay, blue, blue then. Blue on um, okay. To make it more interesting, make triangles, make it white. Okay, rotate it a little bit. Now, okay, then subtract. Okay, and then another one. Let's make it like this. So it has some shiny eye. Okay, something like that. Then let me copy paste it. Put it up here. One, this one. Okay. How about this? Yeah. That's enough, I think. So, what we're gonna do is create a rectangle. Let's create rectangle and define, make it three parts. basically it it all has to be the same size and separate the frame the whole frame into three parts uh, let's push it back backwards press this one okay and make it uh, non-filling okay now copy paste it onto this Okay. Okay, you know what? To make it easier to look, I'm gonna add some feeling first. Maybe different feelings. Let's make it. Oh no. Just the stroke. Okay. Now we want to add some uh, so you can see upwards and downwards. Let's pick one here and copy paste or you know what I'm gonna use alt hold and drag hold alt and drag it to the middle like this okay let's uh, okay as big as the eye okay and then hold alt again drag and put it on top now this one 
Okay, let's resize it. You know what? This one also. Type D. That's okay. So basically, what uh, the concept is when the cursor's uh, moving here, the eye will look down. Moving on this area, the eye will look over that area, and so on and so on. And how we're gonna do that is let's. Uh, copy paste this one this one let's say uh, okay I'm gonna copy paste this one two three four five six seven eight eight times according to the positions you know what? let's make it harder. and then one here and one here okay this is the original where uh, the the eye will look uh, straight to you straight upwards and the others okay i'm gonna delete this delete the boxes Okay, now if okay first this is will look down okay and this is will look okay now let's go to prototype and yeah create some prototype it will be like this uh, while hovering while hovering and let's say instant or smart admit is in mm. yeah is in mm. we can try another option later but let's try it smart and it first okay let's try it out okay sorry i forgot to uh, delete the strokes on the boxes but let's see if it's good okay okay with smart animate uh, okay it turns out it's not so good because the eyeball will go back to the original position then move to the next position so it's not that smooth okay let's change it but before that i'm gonna make the strokes oops gonna make the strokes disappear first this one and this one also okay stroke disappears now change the prototype into instant okay this one also instant okay now let's try if it's uh, when it's all instant instant animation okay good looks good Ta -da. okay you know what this is good but not good enough because it's looks like uh, not smooth not smooth see so I'm gonna try another one let's move back to smart animation and make it gentle like this let's do all all of them let's pick up all those those uh, boxes and this one's two and this one okay after that let me 
copy paste copy paste it these boxes onto all of the frames and what happens it will create another uh, another boxes with uh, triggering animations while hovering on each uh, each frames yes so yeah it's a bit uh, it looks a bit complicated but uh, it is what it is let's see what happens yes it's run that smooth so yeah it runs that smoothly with that uh, a little bit of animation where it moves following the cursor 